feel of alone. Hold on, better days are coming. Better days, better days, better days are coming. I am Kedrick Bowie. Can you hear my cry for justice from the grave? They lied and said I died from heart disease, but it was blunt force trauma to my body that the prison system is covering up that made me pass away. My mama is sad today. She need answers for this tragedy. They covering up my death with cheap makeup, but the scars and bruises won't fade away. This is my cry from the grave. Keep saying my name and listen to my mama tell my story. This is my cry from the grave. Keep saying my name and listen to my mama tell my story. Talk to my mama. Good evening. How you doing? My name is Serena Bowie. My son's name is Ketra Bowie. I talked to my son on August the 12th and he was fine. He was getting ready to get transferred because he was having issues with the correctional officer. The next morning, I got a phone call, which was August 13, saying that they found my son dead. I have heard several stories on my son's death, but they tried to say that he died from a coronary artery heart disease, hypertension, and obesity, and that's unreal. The autopsy also stated that Ketcher had Blunt force trauma to the head, blunt force trauma to the torso, bruises, contusion, hemorrhaging, and other injuries. I know that my son was beaten to death. He was at USP, Atlanta, Georgia Federal Prison. A lot of death is occurring in the prison system and it's time for us to do something about it. Just because they called and tell you what happened to your loved one doesn't mean that what happened is more than what they say. So I had to search and search and search until I got to some of the information that I have. They say that I was not, um, I could not get a death certificate, I could not get an autopsy and other paperwork. Well. It's